music for Egypt. Nile FM. This is going to be a crazy episode. I've got a superstar with me on air. Tara Ahmed is right here in the house. Hello. Hi, Hashem. <laughs> Need you 100%. That was Duke Mont right here on Nile FM. And this is Hisham uh, kicking off the beginning of tonight's episode of How Crazy Are We? And I'm not alone in the studio. What's going on? But before I do go ahead and introduce my uh, co-host, uh, I want to tell you that tonight on How Crazy Are We? We are just spicing things up with the topic of childhood dreams. So what's going on? I want you to tell me how close or how far are you to where you wanted to be when you were a kid. And of course, without further ado, I want to take this opportunity to introduce to you this sweet, humble, and down-to-earth rising superstar in Egypt and the Middle East. She started with some commercials here and there and modeling, and she captured captured the hearts of many, many Egyptians and everybody else in the Arab world and the Middle East when she claimed her place as an acting, uh, in the acting industry when she started appearing on TV series with, alongside, of course, some iconic names like Adil Imam and others. And, uh, of course, the talent, the elegance, and the humility, the persona that has coined uh, a very niche uh, reputation of being, in my humble point of view, quote-unquote, Egypt's sweetheart. Not America's sweetheart, Egypt's sweetheart. It is my absolute honor and pleasure to welcome my co-host for the evening because, of course, hey, uh, Sahbid Beit, she's, she's, this, is, this is her second home. It, like, I'm going to get out of here and she's going to run the rest of the uh, episode. But uh, yeah, I'm with Tara Ahmed. How are you? What an intro. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Wow. Hey, hey. Thanks. <laughs> I do what I can. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. How are you? How's, how's everything? I'm doing actually great. Okay. I'm very good. I'm super excited and um, I love coming here. So this is always super fun and exciting. I'm excited that you're excited. Samesies! <laughs> so um, b- before I actually dive into tonight's question and ask you the same question for, for the topic of the day, um, I want to ask you the general question that relates to the vibe of this show. Mm-hmm. What is the name of this show? How crazy are we? So <laughs> how, how crazy do you think this world that we live in has become? Seriously. like Completely loco. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is gone mad. Honestly, no, I think the entire world has gone pretty crazy with everything that's been happening in the past. I can't say two years because a lot of stuff has been happening in the past decade, in the past decade and a half with the rise of social media, with the rise of all sorts of awareness campaigns, with the rise of the pandemic. But there's just so much happening and we're extremely prone to hearing everything every single day thousands of news thousands of outlets so it's it's mad it's completely crazy hey technology that's what technology does i mean it just opens up this whole gate of news and exactly yeah awareness like you said um so what is the craziest thing about this world is it is it like a generation gap in your point of view or is it the 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 mix of hmm. all these things with, with... That's a good question. Hmm? Hmm? I guess the craziest thing would be is that um, we are forgetting how... I keep like rocking back on this chair. That's oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, everyone keeps, I guess, forgetting how important the littlest things are. Like air. Yeah. <laughs> like water. Like, like water. Like smiling. Exa- exactly. Those simple little acts and uh, things in our life that are super basic we forget how important they are without them we wouldn't be what we are or we wouldn't be alive like the air that we're constantly ruining polluting uh, suffocating <laughs> <laughs> what is so happening guess, the world is coming to an end <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to be a pessimist but honestly i guess that's the craziest thing that we forget the littlest things that make up what we are as humans and as people we keep uh, destroying couldn't agree with you more i mean um I just blame technology, even though I love technology, I feel and I think you it's it's a one. great tool. But I think it it uh, killed. It's a double sworded uh, knife. Exactly. Completely. Exactly. Exactly. It, it killed a lot of the uh, 
social interactions. Social we, skills, the need to see people, the need to call your parents, the need to call your cousins, your family members, because you constantly see their pictures and you feel that you're familiar with their happenings, but you actually are not. You're not as you would be, for instance, if, for instance, if you could call them, if you could chat with them, if you could give them your time even more, if they're close by, of course. So Obviously, yeah, yeah. It's important to realize that social media is incredible and the rise of the internet in the past few years is amazing. It's helping us and humanity in incredible ways, but at the same time, uh, we got to know how to use it and Absolutely. when. Absolutely. There's a time and place for everything. Okay, follow-up question to that. Now we, that we, we've we talked about how crazy the world is. I want to know how crazy Tora is because <laughs> all artists, all artists are considered to have a little bit of loco, a little bit of crazy little? in them. Just a little? So just a li- I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to, you know, make you yeah. sound not certifiably insane. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, how, how crazy are you sp- specifically? I've been told on several different occasions from different people, Tara, you're crazy. Okay. Tara, you're insane. I'm like, yeah, I kind of know that. <laughs> But that's what makes you interesting. So, yeah, I've been told from different people that I am crazy. And I guess I just recently realized that I am. <laughs> <laughs> you like, got to lean into it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, fine, I'm crazy, whatever. I'm accepting it in my actions, in my decisions, in my way of thinking. It Fantastic. is what it is at this point. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, <clears throat> this is your first time to, uh, this is our first time to meet. Yes. How crazy am I coming off across so far? No, you're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 like, I like the tone. I you're like how, you, how you're saying it. You're like, you're fine. You're, you're like, okay. The Ross kind of. Fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Out of all. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> I'm not as funny as Chandler, but I always thought that he was my favorite. Yeah, I love Chandler. Chandler, Chandler is the funniest out of I all three. I love Chandler. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're going to get into uh, favorite shows and all that mumbo jumbo uh, a little bit next. But before we do so, let's uh, let's give the listeners some music to, to hear. And when we come back, I want you to send me and Toro messages telling us how far are you from your childhood dream. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. Mickey, seriously, give Doja a call. She loves you. <laughs> Get into it, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. My cousin loves this song. I love this song. It's yeah, really, it's really fun. catchy. It's got a really nice tune. Very, very interesting beat. It's very uh, hype. It is. Yeah, yeah. And at the very end of it, Doja Cat confesses her love to our very own Mickey from Nile FM. So, dude, Crazy. you need to give her a call, man. You, yeah, s- like seriously. Seriously, man. Seriously. <laughs> okay, we before before I dive into more personal questions, let's take a quick break and look into the actual topic of the day. Uh, today, I am talking to you guys. Me and Toro are both talking. I'm very used to saying me and you and not we because I'm usually here by myself. But Aww. yeah. I can always come and co-host. Hey, you, <laughs> like I said at the very beginning, this is your home. I can always do that. Okay, awesome. Give awesome. me a call and I'll be right here. <laughs> Done. Done deal. All right, so um, Ahmed Shadi, Officer Ahmed Shadi got in touch a little while ago. And he said, uh, Tara, please uh, say hello to Hisham for me. Hi, Hisham. Okay, because, you know, obviously, well. you know, it's not my show. It's your show tonight. So obviously. he's he's telling me to <laughs> do that. And uh, guess what? It is Ahmed oh, Shadi's you, birthday. Hisham. I yes, thought, me. Wow, it's his birthday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, too many topics. Ahmed Shadi's birthday, birthday. Is, is happening today. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's actually a police officer. So thank you for protecting us, dude. And Happiest of birthdays. Yeah. We, we, we want to do a little something. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> <laughs> We're so bad at this. I hope you realize that. We need to synchronize this. <laughs> Happy so, birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> May you have This the happiest the year, dude. Song. Yes. Seriously, Ahmed Shadi, thank you so much for getting in touch. Uh, another hello uh, just popped in from Shahira Shahira, not Shakira Shakira. She says hi, Hisham and Tora, and hi. some hi, hi. Uh, you know rose emojis. She's she's sending us some roses. I'm sending a whole 
flower bunch. And like last that. but not least, uh, Khalid Muharram uh, got in touch. Shout out to Khalid Muharram. And he says, uh, hello to you, H. H, yes. And please <laughs> tell... Yeah, itch, itch. <laughs> and please tell Tara <laughs> hello for me. So hi, Khaled. Yeah, one one person said like it the itch. right way, and the other person said it the opposite way. So okay, okay. So Khaled said it the opposite way, of course. Yes. <laughs> Clearly. All right. So <clears throat> topic of the day. What do you think of this whole thing? How far are you from your childhood dream, yeah, Tara? That's a great topic to have. Thank you. Yeah. I came up with it myself. <laughs> I like it. I really like it. Um, how far am I from my childhood dream? Well, honestly speaking, um, I'd like to say that I'm right on. This is exactly what I hoped I'd be doing. Okay. And uh, definitely, I have so much more to accomplish, so much more to to reach and to dream of. But I guess that I'm living the dream of the little girl that was four years old and hoping that she would be on TV. On screen. Yes. Yeah. On screen. Yeah. Back yeah. then it was the Oh yeah, it was box like TV the, the box TV. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like flat screens. But honestly I'm very grateful and thankful that I pursued my dream and that I did not give up. I mean I had so many things that I wanted to be when I grow up. Acting was one of them. It was the main thing. What are the other things goal. that you have? A doctor a, um, oh. um a writer, a uh, book author. I wanted to be um, uh, an astronaut. Actually, I wanted wow. to be an astronaut, yeah, for a very solid time. Oh, nice. <laughs> Was it because uh, any of the Barney episodes of, of you know, like, like yes. you know, getting... Yeah? Of course. The Barney show? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was obsessed with the Barney show really? when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. When I was a kid, yeah, I had... Uh, I've, I mean, I've always watched it, but then later on, I just kind of got bored. Hmm. Have you ever watched Bananas in Pajamas? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I wish, but no. <laughs> All right. So the current uh, uh, Toro, sadly disappointed childhood Toro from being a doctor and an astronaut. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, and a biologist. I wanted to and study biology. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. But acting is the best profession for me because I get to live all of these things. I get to be a doctor, a lawyer. Um, I don't know, so many jobs, so okay. many incredible jobs. See, so it worked out to the best. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. All right, I want you guys to all uh, send us, us, not me, send us like that. on 0155-955-1042 and don't forget to hashtag how crazy are we? So yeah, let me know how far or close are you to your childhood dream. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. Little more love. AJ Tracy right here. On Nile FM. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, everyone? This is Hisham from How Crazy Are We? And joining me in the studio is the lovely Tara Ahmed. And uh, guess what, Tara? What? We are not alone right now. <gasps> We're we, not? We have a third. Per, we'll, we have a couple of more people in the studio to you know, <laughs> take, take some videos of us. But uh, we, we have a caller. Yeah. His name is Zizo. Hello, Zizo. Hello, Sam. I'm Tora. Hi, Zizo. How are you? What's up, man? Um, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm talking to you. Neither I can I. I'm excited. How are you? How are you doing? I'm really fine, but... It's, and so from, from exams, I have an exam tomorrow. Oh, good uh, luck. <laughs> yeah, what exam is it? It's uh, academic essay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That sounds hmm. tough. It sounds tough. Dude. <laughs> good are luck. You, are you Did prepared? You yeah. <clears throat> I'm not, but I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you all the luck and study. Study hard. Study, study, Thank study, you, man. Tara. Hit them books. Yeah. Hit them books. Yeah, d- I just want to to show you my admiration, uh, my admiration by uh, your rule in uh, in your last uh, episode. You know, it was by with Dane. It's, uh, I don't remember its name. It's, um... In Ramadan. Yeah. Suits. Suits, man. It's Suits? the yeah, come <laughs> on, man. You have. A... I have a fish memory. I want you to. Go it's into... fine. Goldfish because you're memory. studying yeah. and he's occupied with all the. Lectures? Yeah. Of course. I get it. Of I course. It. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you yeah. liked it. 
I'm really happy to to have this call with you. Same here. Zizo, do you want to give a shout out to anyone? Do you want to say hello to anyone? Other than, of course, me and Toro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I want to say hello to, <laughs> to my girlfriend, Yasmin. Big shout out to Yasmin! <laughs> Hi, Yasmin. We love you. Yeah, uh, and my best friend, Emily. And Hi, Emily. my best friend also, uh, Ali Hamdou. Ali Hamdoun, well, we Emily. Love all the three of you, four of you actually. Yes, yes, yes. Two Algerians and one Egyptian. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. All right, man, let's do this again soon. Please uh, call me and well, I guess if Tara is going call to join us. me again, you know, <laughs> in, in the future episodes, you can call us. But if yes. I'm by myself, you can call me or send me a message like you did. Uh, good luck tomorrow on your exam. And thanks for getting in touch. Thank you. Have a beautiful night, man. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Bad Times by Sabrina Carpenter right here on Nile FM. And this is Hisham. And joining me in the studio is the wonderful Tora Ahmed. Yes, I'm here. And uh, we are talking about childhood dreams tonight. Yes. What was your childhood dream? Oh, my goodness. I'm... Yeah, I want to know. Uh... I don't know. As a teenager, I, I found out that I got pipes. I can sing. Uh-huh. And people told me that, you know, I have a nice voice. And I thought for the longest time that I wanted to be a singer. Mm-hmm. Old school Egyptian Arabic music, wow. to be specific. Abdul Halim, Um Kulthum, that sort of thing. That's exciting. And I did perform a lot in Canada in multicultural events. But... Uh, I don't know, 20 some years later, I'm here in Egypt and I'm doing a show on the biggest radio station. Still super cool. And so, yeah, it's it's related. It is. It's related and I'm having a lot of fun. I actually forget about uh, forgot about that dream of, of being a singer. I just sing in the shower right now. But you can still sing, you know that. I, 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 do, I, do, I do what I can. I do what I can. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna wait for a song at some point. Definitely. Uh, but enough about me. Let's see what uh, WhatsApp has to say. We we have a message from Hussein Khamis. Do you want to do the Hussain. honors? Yes, he says hi to Tara. Hi, hi Hussein. Um, you were watching my series, Sahab Saida. Yes, I love that series, Raid al Imam. And you said that your childhood dream or passion is writing and TV presenting, and journalism. And you wrote two books, right? Is that right? That is absolutely right. Nice. You're doing it to satisfy your old passion. That's honestly amazing. And you're an architect and an interior designer. Honestly, that's amazing. Yeah, and he he, he left like a smart emoji with the glasses. Yes, he did. Course. I mean, he has to. Of course. <laughs> the Archi- guy wrote two books. <laughs> Architects gotta look smart. <laughs> yes, that's great. But yeah, uh, Hussein Khamis, as always, your messages are very, very inspiring. Uh, that is, uh, of course, you're, you're talking about your passion. You're talking about what you wanted to do when you were a child. And you are still fulfilling that, but you're doing it as a side gig. So shout out to you. Mad respect. Absolutely. And uh, you guys out there, keep those crazy messages rolling. Send us a message on 0155-955-1042. And don't forget to hashtag how crazy are we and let us know. How far or close are you to your childhood dreams? And up next, uh, right after this, will be Closer by Saweetie. Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Closer by Saweetie right here on Nile FM. And this is Hisham back again with another segment of How Crazy Are We? And again, joining me in the studio is the sensational Tora Ahmed. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> we are talking about childhood dreams, and we've been getting a lot of messages on yes, WhatsApp. So cool. um, a gentleman by the name of, oh my God, wrong mouse. I'm checking, I got two, okay, two screens right here. <laughs> Sharif. Sharif got in touch and he says, hey guys, happy emojis. Happy smiley emojis with stars instead of the eyes. And he says, guess what? What a guest. I love this spirit. Heart emoji and more smiling emojis. Thank you, Sharif, for getting in touch. Uh, Who else do we got right here? Uh, Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Yusuf Amr. Big shout out to Yusuf Amr. He says, hello, Hisham and Tora. How are you? Ask Tora if she uh, listens to Egyptian rap. And, uh, you know, you're... 
you're my favorite actress as well. Oh, wow. So. Thank you. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. I well, actually do listen to Egyptian rap. Egyptian rap. Are you yeah. into the current new stuff or the old school rap? Like the traditional hip hop? Funny or? enough, both. I think yeah. they're very different. Yeah. And I like the trap evolution rap. that happened. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's yeah. a cool evolution. I mean. Definitely. Definitely. Times are changing. Why not? Of course. Of course. The I old mean, school ones are old school and they're oh. epic in their own ways. But the new stuff is also super fun to dance along to and to <laughs> learn. I'm so bad at learning the lyrics. So I get like a piece of paper and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> learn every single word. But I love learning the songs. I'm uh, definitely like I, I, got a, I got a musical bone in me. So I do appreciate all forms of music. But I'm definitely an old school rap guy. You are, I, I like, yeah, I like, I like the traditional hip hop. Nice. But of course, uh, let's uh, jump over to some of the personal questions that I want to ask you. We'll, we'll uh, jump back and forth between the topic of the day and some of your personal questions. Let's so, do that. I want you to answer me this: Do women really know how to kill? Oh wow! I mean, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can women can women oh, become yes, can. you know serial killers or because you know that is the title of your newest yeah why project. women kill yeah why women kill or it's sitet betaraf teetil yes that was the first name and then they renamed it to sitet betemaidi wow that is terrifying I live in Maidi <laughs> please don't. okay be aware be Shin. be aware okay. <laughs> I, I got I to gotta tell you this because this, this baffled me when I, when I was doing a little bit of research on you and I found out that that is your current project. Yes, uh, I did you're that such right a, before Suits. You're, you're such a sweetheart. You're like, you, you don't or come across. I? I don't, that's the thing. Like, I, I want to, I, I want to find, we'll never I, know. I want to see that just so that I would uh, maybe change my perception and, and, and feel a little scared and intimidated. Because <laughs> I have a baby face. Everyone keeps telling me that, so I guess I can get away with murder. But you do my baby face. <laughs> but you do kill someone in, in in that in that series. You should watch. Okay. You should watch. Okay, I will. I will. Like, I promise. Watch you. and call me. I will. Deal. I will definitely. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> uh, what can't you do? I what mean, can't I do? Yeah, you can kill. <laughs> I love that that's a skill now. Hey, hey, hey. Didn't <laughs> we say... In the series, guys. In the series. Did, didn't we discuss this? I mean, with your childhood dreams, you had so many occupations. Of course. And I, I thought that you let down your childhood per personality. But you didn't because acting makes you do a lot of different professions. True. So uh, what, what, other th what things can't you do? I mean... The whole modeling, commercials, uh, one of the top names in the young group of celebrities. Wow. You are You are rising up there. You're, you're, like your name is, is booming up there. It's been booming for God knows how long. But uh, <laughs> how does that impact your private life? Specifically when it comes down to dealing with the general public. It does impact it. I guess now I'm more um, accepting of that. I was completely terrified as a teenager when fame started kicking in because no one prepares you. Like, no one tells you, hey, you're going to be famous. No one tells you that. And you kind of just find yourself in the face of fame and just dealing with everything, especially for me at a young age. Mm -hmm. And uh, no one prepared me for that. I, I was completely thrown off guard. And it came to me as a shock. I'm like, why are people asking me for pictures? I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> What's happening? What is this? Why are they looking at me? So... A year after year, one project after the other, I realized that, honestly, so many projects after, like in the recent years, I started to appreciate it. And I started to appreciate people who come up and say hi and ask for a picture and just come and talk to me because, uh, first of all, it takes guts. And, Definitely. Uh, yeah, big time. Did you hear how excited Zizo yeah. was on the phone? It's amazing. He was so excited to talk to you. It's so humbling. Like, I can't even begin to explain And I begin like I began to appreciate the fact that people watch the things that I do, watch my series, my movies, my ads, or whatever project I'm working on, and they get affected by it. They get affected by the character, and then they want to talk to me and they want to ask me for something. And I think it's incredible. And once I was able to shift my perspective on appreciating the appreciating the fame that comes with my job, uh -huh. um, my outlook on it completely differed. Because in the beginning, I was so scared. 
I'm a very private person and I was so much more shy as a kid and I still am. I tend to be very shy at certain occasions. So fame was really not something that I was chill with. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was scary. But now it's... Um, But I you like do it so it. effortlessly. I mean, that's on the outside. Like it takes a lot of um, work on the inside. Not that I don't like it. No, it just takes because I'm very shy. Like in the beginning, I would be shy. Why are they taking pictures of me? I'm just so <laughs> shy. But now I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> See, this is why I feel blessed to be on radio, not on television. Because But you guys I are can't... recording now too. We, we are. Like ju for tonight's episode, because you are here. See, yeah. it's, it's because of you. It's not. I remember the you... first time I came and I figured out that you were recording. I was in my PJs and I looked like a mess. And they're like, <laughs> Tara, do you want to go to the bathroom? I'm like, no, why? We're, we're cool. And they're like, no, I think you should go to the bathroom and fix your hair. You look wonderful tonight. Thanks. All right. So um, on to that topic with, with the whole f dealing with the public. I had only one experience, one Tell experience me. since I started here in Nile FM. Uh, I was walking around in the streets of Maidi with one of my friends. And we went into a convenience store. And on the way out we were both speaking English to each other because my friend and I, we pretty much speak English all the time and we're more comfortable speaking English to each other. So this guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, your voice is familiar. And I'm like, uh, <clears throat> do you listen to 9 FM? And he's like, oh my God, which one are you? And I was like, uh, <clears throat> do you listen to how crazy are we? He's like, oh my God, you're Hisham Musa. And I'm like, oh, wow. That was my only experience where i had that Look at two you. two minutes of fame you you call how it. did it feel uh <laughs> felt weird i i was <laughs> laughing i was laughing at the whole thing it was it was uh overwhelming it's and, exciting but um uh, my friend making fun of me afterwards was was of was course. the thing that i remember now that's what friends more than for. anything yeah yeah <laughs> All right, so all y'all out there, send us your messages regarding tonight's topic. And if you have any specific questions that you want to ask Tara, please send us a message on... 015-5955-1042. And don't forget the hashtag! Music for Egypt. Nile FM. This is Hisham and Tara Ahmed coming back with another segment of How Crazy Are We? And we are talking about childhood dreams. Yes, we are. Okay, so uh, you did answer the question about your childhood dreams earlier, but and, and we touched up a little tiny bit on a childhood show that you used to watch, Barney. Yes. What other cartoons were you into when you were growing up? Um, This is very important because it, it kind of tells me how... How crazy of a person you are. What There kind? was this yeah. one cartoon, but I don't know its name. I think it's Moomy. Do okay. you know it? No. It was like these white little, I don't even know what they were. I don't know, mini rhinoceroses. I have no okay. idea. Okay. It was such a weird cartoon, but I loved it. It's called Moomy. Google, Google it up. <laughs> Google it up. <laughs> okay, so, okay. How do, you, how do you spell that? How do you spell that? M-U-M-I. Okay, M-U. white little creatures and this little girl... It was weird, but I loved it. Okay, uh, M U M I. Yes. That's it. Yeah. That's the name of the show. Movie. <laughs> okay, cartoon. I have to Did add the word it? cartoon. Yeah, of course. I mean, guys, check it out. It's such a fun cartoon. Uh, I mean, it okay, was 20 on, years ago. <laughs> oh wow. Yes. Okay. You know what? I think I've seen that on TV have a couple you? of times, but I haven't really seen a full episode to know what the show is about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's weird. Looks pretty interesting. It was my favorite. All right, all right, yes. all right, all right, all right. Okay, so uh, more questions. I want to talk to you about, uh, well, basically before doing this interview, uh, <clears throat> everyone that I spoke to, mm -hmm. uh, whether they work here or from outside of work, people who m met you or some, some, uh, some listeners, even yesterday, when I announced that you were coming in today, they were sending me messages. And, and one of them specifically, I think it was Shahira. Mm -hmm. She sent a message and she said that she met you once years ago really? at a cafe with her mom. Uh, or uh, Sorry, no, 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 not a cafe. Uh, specifically at a vet. Uh, they were taking a cat or a dog, uh, their, oh, their pet, yeah. into a place. And, and she remembers that you were super nice. You were the one initiating the smile oh. like you were you were smiling to to her and her mom you know oh, wow. while they were 
waiting for their turn to go see the vet. So that, I'm so touched be, that she remembers. Hey, it proves to me that wow. you are a sweetheart. You are Shahida. Egypt's sweetheart. That is so sweet. Thank you. Wow, I'm so touched. So, uh, so like I said, celebrities usually they have they have this standoffish or too busy to deal with the public kind of vibe. Why you so humble, girl? Why you so humble? I get the comment a lot that I need to be more uh, withdrawn and more um, unfriendly. Like people advise me and tell me, hey, you shouldn't smile that much and you should really just not talk to people that much. <laughs> and I'm like, but wow. why? Wow. <laughs> why wow. exert effort and not being nice? I mean, why? Who's winning? No one's winning. I mean, what? And it just baffles me, honestly. Like, wow. I don't get why. Would anyone put that much effort into not being approachable or reachable? I mean, unless you're running for an errand or actually <laughs> doing something. And uh, yeah, whenever I can, I'm not saying that 100% I'm always lovely and smiley and sweet. But of course, you're a, hum you, you're a human being. Yeah, yeah it yeah. happens when I have my moments of complete frustration and agony. <laughs> but when I can, I do remember that kindness doesn't cost me anything. Kind of doesn't cost anything. There you have it. You heard it from the one and only Tora Ahmed. And uh, we're about to start the second hour. And uh, keep those crazy messages rolling, please. If you have any specific questions towards Tora, by all means, send us a message on 01 55 955 1042. And don't forget to hashtag how crazy are we? And also, don't forget the topic of the day. How far or close are you to your childhood dreams? Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Peanut Butter Jelly by Galantis right here on Nile FM. And joining me in the studio of How Crazy Are We is the lovely, the one and only Tora Ahmed. What's going on? Nothing. I'm so excited reading all these messages. Yeah. Yeah. They're the WhatsApp so messages nice. are off the chain. Yeah, they're going crazy right now because so obviously. So sweet. Thank you're... you for everyone sending. Yeah. Okay, let me give a shout out to another Hisham, not myself, but there's a Hisham uh, who is sending a message. He's saying, Hey, I'm Hisham. I'm a yoga instructor at night and an architect by day. And I love Tora so much. And I love your show very much, Hisham, and love your vibes. My childhood dream was to make a movie about yoga and have Tara I met starring in it with wow, me. Wow, thank you. Okay. Hi, hi, back at you. <laughs> that sounds cool. Hey, hey, you'll be getting some offers right here too. <laughs> I'm here waiting. <laughs> All right, another message right here. Do you want to do the honors? The last, uh, the last two numbers are 37. 37. Yes. A uh, lovely young lady by the name of... Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Selma. Selma is sending a message. Selma, she's telling us she's in the car for the next 10 minutes, right? Is that the message? Because uh, they're 237. Oh, oh, uh, 437. 437. Where is that? 437. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the one. She wants to listen to something from Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. Which mm -hmm. one are you going to choose which song i don't know i don't know let's let's uh i don't know you can maybe uh if you want to read the the message on top while i look for oh, uh, there's the, more the, on yeah top. yeah she said she sent something earlier she was saying no but that hi was Hashem, absolutely love your show waiting to participate i think bad people are, I don't, is that is that is that from today that's march 16th. oh my goodness oh oh today <laughs> okay then she just wants to listen to okay my really bad trying to help here my, but my bad my bad my bad okay <laughs> let's 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 look for a little something for her right here lana del rey okay we can read another message yes, uh, whichever one you so want many pretty whichever ones. one you want a number ending by 781 good evening hisham and lovely tara hi do you know the name? Uh, what's the last three numbers? Uh, Mayeda. Oh, I okay. found her okay. name. Okay, good. Hi, Mayeda. See? Thank you for getting in touch. Hi, back at you. And Shahida says she loves my smile. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Thank she you. said, keep smiling. Keep smiling. Yes. And uh, uh, also, speaking of Shahira, she sent a very interesting question. She's saying... Um, <sighs> After watching you in the amazing role that you did in the Suits series, she wanted to know what was the most difficult role that you ever played? Well, there were several. I'd say uh, in the Blue Elephant 2. 
oh, feel that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yes, yeah. because it required some skills and guitar. That was, that was a really good movie. Motorcycle. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an epic movie. So it was it was tough, but I I do it all over again. Hmm. I love that scene. Well, there you have it, Shahira, Shahira. Yes. And um, who honestly, was... there's one more. Can I say it? Absolutely. Musa last year. Oh. Yes, it was wow. a very tough role because ninety percent of my role I was in water. Oh <laughs> <freezing>. wow! <laughs> it was. How so did you deal cold. with that? Like I, it's I, it's physically challenging was, to do something like yes, that. Yes, I was crying. Like they'd be like, "You're amazing." I'm like, "I'm actually crying." <laughs> I'm in actual. As soon pain. as the director <laughs> says cut, <laughs> I would continue crying, honestly. But oh, I'm so grateful how the role came out and the whole series and the feedback that I got was absolutely worth it. But that was the one show that. There was sweat, blood, and tears. Like I was hurt. I sprained my ankle. Oh. I was crying. Oh, wow. There's. It was insane, but it was amazing. Sorry to hear that, but you know, uh, all beautiful things in the world, they're they're not easy to accomplish. So yeah, there you have it. No pain, no gain. No pain, I no guess, go. Sometimes. <laughs> all right, keep those crazy messages rolling. And up next is a national anthem by Lana Del Rey. Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Sean Mendes. It'll be okay right here on Nile FM. And uh, this is Hisham and Toraimit. Hi, everyone. You are tuned into How Crazy Are We? Tonight's topic is all about childhood dreams and whether or not you are close to them or far away from them. Uh, several people got in touch, but before I read some of those messages, uh, Tara, I have a follow up question to your. Uh, to the question that Shahida asked you with the difficult role. Mm -hmm. Your job is incredibly challenging mentally and physically yep. based on that last answer that yes. I received. And to that, what do you do to stay in shape, girl? What do you, I mean, like, <laughs> like you, you're in awesome shape. You're in, but Thanks. you know, like, what do you do to stay fit and stay up to all the standards and the requirements for being on camera? I guess I have a standard of my own, which is just being healthy, whatever that looks like. Uh -huh. uh, it's been a while that I've completely like removed the idea from my head that I want to look a specific way. I just uh -huh. want to feel good. I want to feel light and I want to eat, eat food that I enjoy. But at the same time, I move a lot and I've always moved a lot since I was a kid. So I... Funny enough, I do not like to run. <laughs> oh, okay. Who, who, who likes to run? You know, there are people that like to run. Unless like, you're being chased by someone, there's no reason to be <laughs> like, running. Why are you running? I, I, I tried. I tried thousands of times. It's just not my thing. But I'm still trying. I'm actually still trying. But what I do is mostly yoga and Pilates. Nice. Both yes. uh, both are incredibly challenging. Yeah. I've done CrossFit you... for a while, but okay. then I stopped and just focused on yoga. Both are incredibly good fitness routines, and I mean, um, they're good mentally, also. Like, very, very much so. I, specifically, yoga. Calming. Yeah, it's very calming. Yeah. It's very, it focuses on so many points in the body, in the system, in your own system, in your brain. It helps. It helps you calm down, get energized, prepared. <laughs> Funny thing you mentioned when the, the, the whole running business, and I kind of made fun of myself here, and I don't regret it. No regrets. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I used to be a sprinter in high school. Wow. Uh, I did a lot of running where I was not, uh, I didn't have a reason to run. <laughs> you know, nobody was chasing me. I wasn't being chased by a dog or anything like that. But um, but did you enjoy it? Oh, oh my goodness. See? I mean, in high school... Uh, I enjoyed the fact that I was good at it. I mean, I never knew that I was good at it, but my high school track and field coach, who happened to be my math teacher, and he hated me for skipping math class, but he loved me for bringing him um, gold medals. and silver, silver medals. Wow. So, uh, yeah, so I made up for that, but, you know, it was, it was good. It was good back in the day when I was in shape. Now I have this beautiful little kirsch, and, <laughs> yeah. 
but you can get back into it, I'm sure. Definitely, definitely. I actually bought a bicycle not too long ago so that I can oh, I love cycling try too. to get myself into shape. Yeah, is it an indoor bicycle or an no, outdoor? no, no, outdoors? A normal, yeah, 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 bicycle. a normal bicycle. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually fun. I yeah. love bicycles and I love cycling. It's one of the things that I enjoy. Awesome. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tara loves cycling and yoga and Pilates. Yes. All very, very good ways to stay in shape. Uh, all right, all right. So, what is happening with the WhatsApp messages? Uh, tell us more about your experience and meditation. She just did. Okay, that it was. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Shout out to um, Hamad Aziz. Hamad Aziz was yeah, asking you about is meditation. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit important. of yeah, a little bit of that is done with yoga, correct? It is, yeah, and you can do it without. It's important every day. Like I do miss days where I don't meditate, but I do realize the difference it makes in my day, in my week, in my month if I practice it daily. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go back to a little bit of music. Up next is Dancing Feet by Kygo and Dance. Music for Egypt, Nile FM. Dancing Feet on Nile FM. You are all tuned into How Crazy Are We? Joining me tonight as my co host is the lovely Toraimed. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay, so uh, while the music was playing, we continued our fitness talk. And you told me this beautiful thing that I never knew about you is <laughs> that, that the whole cycling thing. Yeah. Blow everybody's mind like you just blew my mind and tell them how far did you travel on a bicycle? Well, it is a cool story. I have to, I have to say, but I did go with a group of incredible people. To Aswan. Wow. From Cairo to bicycle. Aswan. Yes. Wow. How many kilometers was that? 1,125. Oh my goodness. I think, yeah, something around that number. Beast mode. <laughs> Champion. Beast mode, indeed. Wow. The best decision that I've ever took. And it was the best gift for myself. Uh, Begad, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, you're that. God bless you. Thank uh, you. How, how did you feel physically after that or during or in the Pumped. middle? Like, like After it, I felt like I can conquer the world Damn. because I put my mind to it and I was like, I'm going to reach Aswan. How? I don't know. When? Um, after 11 days. But how am I going to get there? I had no clue. All I knew is that I wake up, I get on the bicycle and we go. It was Backpacking, a, right? A, like a little no. bag with some... No. no. Thankfully no. enough, we had... A, a car with us that had all our bags because okay, good. it's the first time for us to of cycle course. that long distance. So we were not pros enough to carry our own bags on the bicycles, but you can do that. And it would be useful if anybody like exactly. got too tired Fell or anything. Or, yes, yes. Thankfully, no one, nothing happened to anyone That's and good. we were all safe by the end of the trip. And honestly, I felt I can do anything that like I set my mind to. It was such a rewarding trip and, um, it was mind changing and mind uh, bending <laughs> because funnily enough, I forgot to download all of my music. So I had no music and we had no network. So I was by myself and my thoughts. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That is some next level Forrest Gump business. It was amazing like, like traveling remember, cross country kind of thing yes wow. you know who else there was someone else who's also famous that was in the group Ali Asim oh wow yes wow it was the first time we meet and I found out that he was also into cycling yes nice nice true, true. Wow. Well, there you have it. You guys need to keep sending those crazy messages and send uh, more questions to uh, Toro or answer the actual topic of the day. How far are you? How close are you to your childhood dream? Music for Egypt. Nile FM. That was Spaceman by Sam Ryder right here on Nile FM. And we are back. Me and Tara are back. We're doing this. Is it Tara or Toro? Is the dude, like ser seriously? Did, did anybody why... call you Tara? Yeah, and I don't answer. In, in the that. In, in, in in North America, like in any uh, <clears throat> any international like event or something like that, if if there's an international presenter, I make sure to tell them Tara. Tara, okay, okay, good, good call, <laughs> yeah. good call. You know how many mispronunciations exist to the name Hisham in 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 North America? Hisham. Yeah, they're like Hisham <laughs> or Hi Sham or His Ham. <laughs> 
God, yeah. Yours is way worse than mine. Yeah. But mine in Arabic is honestly not fun. Growing up with my name was slightly miserable. <laughs> you have a beautiful name. What are you talking about? Now, and it's, and but it, as a kid, it was like... It wasn't that common when you were a kid. It, it's not up until this point. Okay, okay. But, but it, now it, I love it, it. Now it is a little common because you're a celebrity. You're, yeah, you're, I guess. You're like... <laughs> You're a Middle Eastern icon, girl. Own it. Aww, thank Own it. You. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, tonight's topic if you are just tuning in, we are talking about childhood dreams and whether or not you are close or far. Close or far. Close or far. Uh, it's it's like kind of reminding me of Baha Sultan's song, Ariba al Baid. Close or far away. Close or far away. Sad or happy lay. <laughs> You know, it's yeah. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> we got we got a few uh, messages right here. This one is from uh, wow. This is not okay. Who is that? Who is that? Seven eight one. Mayuda Mayuda is sending a message. Uh, she's saying good evening, Hisham and lovely Tara. Hi 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 <laughs> hi. I can't find the message. Uh, it is seven eight one. Or 8781. Oh. 8781. Okay. And hello, here's... hello. Oh, that's Mayeda. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, uh, Mayeda. Here's another message. Oh, somebody wants a, a, a song by Coldplay. Omar. Uh, Omar. Big shout out to Omar. And he says, hello, Hisham and Tora. Hi, so Omar. just a lot of shout outs to you. Everybody's to like, everyone everybody's messaging us. and saying that, you know, they want to say hi to you. No, no one, no one cares about Hisham tonight. It's my uh, moment. I'm sorry. It is, of course, of course. <laughs> and he, he, I, I don't consider you a guest. This is legit. You are the co-host today. You're not a guest. I got to be better at this. Oh, you are doing fantastic. <laughs> and speaking of fantastic, uh, blah, 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 blah. there's a message right here. Uh, I want to say hello to the lovely Tora Ahmed. It's great to have you here tonight and extremely uh, amused by listening to you on the show. By the way, I like the expression, uh, Bahr el Bar. Did is see it? that message from uh, yes, that's the film I was in. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope this interview won't be the last time for you on Nile FM. It's not the first time, dude. True. It's not the first time. I'm this, coming back. Here this again. message, this message is from the one and only Walid Abdel Al. What's going on, Walid? Uh, I'm very Thank sorry, you, Walid. Walid. Very, very sorry, Walid, because there are so many messages. And he thought that we were ignoring him. Oh my God! And no. he was saying at the very end, "Why on earth do you hate me, Hisham? Why are you not reading my message, dude? There are so many messages coming through right now, but we did get to yours. Yes, and just now. Such a sweet message. Thank you. All right, so there you have it. Uh, Walid Abdel Al Tara Ahmed is so happy with your message, and uh, we are going to leave you all with a little bit more music and come back and read some more crazy messages. Deal. All right. Up next is Avril Lavigne and Black Bear. Love it when you hate me. Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM. Outside of the studio, we uh, we had a, a beautiful photo. Yes, we with did. With the Nile FM logo in the background. Mm-hmm. And our very own Bob from Adrenaline. El Bob Yes. From <laughs> Nagum FM and from Nile FM's uh, Adrenaline show was, as always... Teasing me about my height and <laughs> and telling you to try to you know lean down a little bit so that you don't look out. super tall. <laughs> you know how tall are you? I'm one seventy four centimeters. Okay, one seventy four. I am one sixty eight. Or That's one, fine. Six, yeah, something like that. But uh, see, I I'm a basketball player. I I love basketball. It's my favorite sport in the world. Uh, and. Uh, for some reason, that is humorous to a uh, it from our social not media. <laughs> and... None of us are smiling, or no, we're, we're not. <laughs> Look at us; we're all and Ilbo... fine. <laughs> okay, so my question to you: Why on earth don't you play basketball? You're tall enough. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. it's okay. I've never it's okay. played it. Not like I've never even touched a basketball ball. Like okay. I've never even had the passion for it. Any any passion for any other sports? Not not uh, not fitness, not yoga and Pilates and cycling. No, I'm talking about an actual sport. I love tennis, but I'm bad at it. Racket racket uh, sports. Nice. Yes, like nice. I like it, but I'm not good at it. What about squash? 
Have you tried squash? Yes, still very, very bad. <laughs> okay, okay. But I love ping pong, and I'm actually good at ping pong. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Ping pong. It's I a beautiful guess, sport. What else? Horseback riding. Oh wow, that's a sport and a half. Yeah. Requires a lot of, uh, not just uh, your own personal fitness. But, but I was better when I was a kid. Now I'm a bit scared because I've heard of a lot of accidents. Yes. So I got a little bit. <laughs> weirded out but i try and like get back to it okay i mean i've always loved these creatures horses are very majestic yes they are um I, i think you know if you if you stick with a specific uh horse that you build a little True. bit of a yeah like i mean if, if you build this rapport with with the animal difference. i think it'll make a lot a lot uh, of difference you're actually yeah. right yeah Okay, okay. Another question. Re- okay, away from the whole height thing. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna get into that again. Like if if I was if I was her height, I would be dunking. <laughs> I'd be able to dunk, ladies and gentlemen. If I was, uh... if I was Tara's height, I would be able to slam dunk a basketball into like a, an official regulation height <laughs> hoop. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> Now, I want to talk to you about your, your uh, current project with Muhammad Hanidi and Mona Zeki. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It's such a fun project, honestly. Working with the both of them is a dream come true, I gotta say. I mean, both of them are so funny, so down to earth, and intelligent human beings. And I'm having so much fun with them on set. La- last time they were together was in Saidi Fi Gamal America. Exactly. Uh, like a, 23 wow. years ago? Yeah. Yes. Four maybe? Wow. Yes. How, how is that reunion to them when you were watching that backstage? How did you like... What? It was good. Yeah? It was a good reunion. Of course. I mean, if I was in their place, I'd be ecstatic. So I'm just so happy to be in that movie. Okay, what yeah. about what about that genre? Because I mean, comedy for me is my favorite thing in the world, and and uh, you being part of a a, a comedy uh, project, it's how do you tricky, feel about that? Honestly, for me, comedy is very tricky. It's one of the hardest, but it's fun, and it's funny enough because I'm I'm like there was this one advice is that when you say something funny, just realize that maybe it's not funny. It's just the people. In the room, find it funny because of the situation that you're put in that on camera is not seen. Uh-huh. So it's always important to think if what was being said is actually a funny sentence or a funny um, scene in general, or is it just because it seemed funny so people are laughing. So it's it's not an easy genre, honestly. And I believe that Egyptians have a very high sense of humor. And Incredible they love, sense of humor. Yes, yeah. and they love a good humorous movie and a good humorous book or anything as a matter of fact so it's not easy to please and you always got to be on your toes definitely definitely okay you know what uh, like it's it, time is is getting super close no. and i want to i want to try to read more questions so you know what i'm going to just stretch this interview a little bit until we uh leave the audience with maybe one song because um uh, very a very important question that i wanted to ask you Uh, two questions, actually. The one where the 75th uh, Cannes Film Festival. That was your first experience? It was. To deal with that, with with such a huge festival? It absolutely was. It was huge. Tell me about that experience a little bit. Well, honestly, I went for one day. I literally flew Thursday, was there Friday, came back Saturday. But I was invited for the Women in Gala uh, dinner. Uh-huh. A woman in gala, woman in cinema gala dinner. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, by the Red Sea Film Festival uh, at the Cannes Film Festival, and um, it was surreal to be there. I mean, I'd imagine. Yeah, it was. It was my first time, and I'm excited for the upcoming years to be able to go again and to attend more, to participate more, and uh, be more engaged in the workshops and the seminars and the movies. There were so many amazing movies that I heard about. So. It was exciting to be there, and I can't wait for next year. Wow, fantastic! That that is an experience and a half. And uh, <clears throat> going back, circling back to the whole uh, comedy genre, uh, I I know you're you're a, a Middle Eastern celebrity, but your English is amazing. So I want to ask you what 
what are your favorite shows? What are the shows that you currently watch in North America or in, in general well, that my are in English? Well, my favorite, favorite show is Friends. Okay. Me and my friends are obsessed. <laughs> okay, okay. I love Friends. So. Have you ever seen uh, How I Met Your Mother? It's of course. the more modern I love it. spin-off. Love, love, love it. it. Okay. Yes. What about uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I haven't seen it. But oh, I my goodness. It's amazing. Yes, Oh, yes. my goodness. But I know all the lines, like all my friends watch it, but I should watch it. Terry loves yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard that one. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you which one I'm watching now. Working Moms. It's such a cool show. Oh, I heard about that. I think I've actually watched one episode. It, It's it, so fun. Yes. I love it. Okay. Uh, Follow-up question, and, and maybe we can wrap up this beautiful interview with this last question. Um, if you were to do another, or participate or make another uh, Arabic version of a, a North American show, like what kind of show would you want or dr- that you are dreaming of being part of? A remake of it in Arabic. A remake? Yeah. Hmm. I guess every single show that I watch, I get so attached to it that I do imagine myself in one of the roles. So every single show, I like to think of what I would do if I was in this role, what I would do if I was in that role. How did she portray this specific emotion, this uh, feeling? So I think I do that with every single show I'm watching. So now as I'm watching Working Moms, I think it would be such a fun show to be interpreted in Arabic it's so much fun it's incredible honestly go watch it everyone should go watch it everyone should go watch it <laughs> all right we will be right back after th- this song to wrap things up and uh, wish you guys a good night and also give uh, the final last shout outs to everybody who sent us messages music for Egypt Nile FM that was here for you by Wilkinson and Becky Hill right here On Nile FM, and this brings us to the end of tonight's episode of How Crazy Are We? This was a fantastic interview slash co-hosting experience with I you, Yatoro. I loved Yatoro. it. Good. I, I, I loved each and every minute. And uh, I, I have to apologize to the uh, listeners who sent in some messages that I was unable to get to because there were so many messages and I didn't get the chance to read all of them. Thank you. uh, Thank you so much for sending them. I do want to give a shout out to every single one of them and wrap up tonight's episode by reading the final message from Fatima. Big shout out to Fatima. She says, hashtag, how crazy are we? Hi, Hisham and lovely Toro. Congrats, H. Of course, she's congratulating me on having you uh, (laughs) gracing... Me with your presence here. Oh, wow. And she continues on and she says, Really enjoying the show. Heart emoji. I just made a quick drawing dedic- uh, dedicated to Toro. So uh, at the bottom, after th- after the message, This she actually so has a, a, a photograph, an actual photograph of you, followed by uh, a pencil sketch, a pencil yes. shaded sketch. Uh, and she continues on and she says, uh, for sure, you look a lot more beautiful than the drawing, Yatora. Uh, I am still learning, LOL. Wishing you all the best. Uh, have a great show, H. And uh, it was beautiful having you, uh, Tora, on, on Nile FM. Thanks and love, Fatima. Oh my God, Fatima, thank you for taking the time to draw this. Honestly, that is so special. I love it. All right. Bravo. Thank you. There you have it. There you have it. Tora, uh, I, I don't want this interview to end, but sadly we do have to go. It is uh, 11 <laughs> o'clock. I and feel you. We are going to be uh, playing some rock music uh, after we wrap up tonight's episode and say goodbye. Yeah, and I'll be back soon, right? Absolutely. Deal. You can come here anytime <laughs> you want, my dear. I mean, I'd love to have you as a co-host anytime. Deal. Next time, you will be the pilot. You will be driving and I'll be sitting on your side and you I will like be that. controlling the mixer and, and all that. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> all right, you guys. I will be back again with another episode of How Crazy Are We on Sunday from 9 until 11. Until then, have a beautiful night. Stay safe and God bless. <laughs>